And some people are out there being mouthpiece to a failed organization that could not even live up to the dictates of the law. They just brought up figures and announced to the whole world, shamefully, after months of such declaration, 18,088 uploaded results are still blurred, blank, and nothing, given by INEC. There is no court judgment that can overrule that because we were given such things from the INEC IREF portal. So what we are saying is not about who won or lost. We are saying that election should be free, fair, and credible. Credible means believable. Justice should not only be done, it should be seen as done. Please, if you have seen the results, pulling in it by pulling in it, either based on original, unmutilated from EC8A, or electronically stored, and uploaded results of INEC, pulling unit by pulling unit, in 176,000 units, pulling unit in Nigeria. Please show me. And I will be willing to tell your line. You can't come to bamboozle Nigerians. A man who failed election in his own state, failed election in the FCT, couldn't get 25%, failed election in the national chairman state, Failed election in his DG campaign state. All those states that are visible or manipulable. He failed. And then you're coming to tell me to believe that he won. On what grounds? There is an organization that the constitution mandated to undertake, organize elections. And the law compelled them to update these results and show the world. They failed. Until today, even after the election, they failed. So whoever is telling you that anybody won that election is a conjecture. And this is no matter what the court says. Because statutory laws in our hierarchy of laws in Nigeria is superior to decided cases. And time has come when we should be holding the judiciary accountable to statutory laws. They do not have the right to make laws. The only right they have is to interpret it. I have given you a section of the law that compelled INEC, even at the risk of sending them to jail. And I'm telling you to you today, they have not given us the results. If you have seen the results, let me know. And as long as those results are hidden in shadows, not in substance, whatever is the result, whatever is the declaration by the court, you cannot convince anybody anywhere in the world. I believe you have finished watching that video. You know, irrespective of the judgment of the tribunal, over 18,000 polling units as of today have not been uploaded by INEC. State to trial law in our hierarchy of laws in Nigeria are superior to decided cases and as long as these results are still in the shadows you cannot convince nigerians of the outcome of the election so whatever it is that came to Kongo said in this video it's just a fact i may not go along with him in different things because of, because of his past utterances about this uh, biafra struggle But he was also not my enemy. Whenever he said the fact, I will concur. But I will also say that we told Obi from the beginning. In fact, it was just like news every day in my channel. He will win. They will deny him the winning. He will go to court. They will deny him the winning. And from the beginning, Namde Kalo said it that Tinibu will be the next president of Nigeria, no matter what you do. Meaning that by force, by fire. He did not say it because he saw Tinibu winning election 
in free and fair election. Jamais. He said it because he saw him being rigged inside office by force without anybody even uttering anything. And that is just what just happened. So we are going to say, sorry, we told you from the beginning. Some of you, after Nandikala was set free by a court, especially the people, wanted him to remain in DSS custody. In fact, I remember some social media influencers who were busy clamoring. Why should he be released now? They want him to destroy will be this and that. Namdekano is not a destroyer. Namdekano is a complete gentleman of heart. The only leader he was have as we speak. When I said the only leader he was have, that's just the truth. And this is why he has done everything possible to liberate you from the hands of criminals, terrorists like Tini Bambuhar. But some of you were against him because he was set free before the election and you were clamoring, ranting in social media. I don't want to start mentioning names. Today, that's something that he told you has come to pass. The same thing we told you has come to pass. This country can't work. But we allow obedient to do what they want. Because the same obedient are the people who fought for answers. They are the people, the answers, fighters. That was more than in cold blood. The same thing who more them than is the man that is president today. And someone like Shoinka will come out. utter such rubbish. I really don't want to insult him. I'm going to insult him because as far as I'm concerned, in my own book and where I'm coming from, we don't respect others who doesn't respect themselves. Respect the reciprocal. First of all, respect yourself. You have to earn the respect from the youth for them to respect you. And this is why things come to move away for us. Even after the whole suffering, after giving us 20 pounds from the beginning, after the war. That is the truth. If an elderly man refuses to respect himself by doing the right thing, if he doesn't even take time, a young boy will knock his head. That is it. Showing is a disgrace. I said it. It's a complete disgrace. I've asked this question several times. I may be a brother Biafra. Yes, I may be a hardcore, I mean in Biafra. But I also have others at heart when they are fighting for what they believe in, just like I believe in Biafra struggle. This boys believe in, or should I say this man, this youth believe in New Nigeria. And they were actually exercising their right. They tried to throw answers and they were more than. They said they should go to Balambos. And this was why we told our people in the East that nobody should stop them whatever they want to do because they have every right to exercise their right. If you call yourself a freedom fighter and you are stopping all that to exercise their right, that means you are a madman. That is the truth. Because after everything, you still come back to Balon Boss to fight for that freedom. Unless, of course, you want to go into civil disobedience. And when you want to do that, you have to, first of all, train your people very well. Make sure that they are well trained to stand those criminals, terrorists that was recruited from the ambit of Bokara. Or some of those people showing themselves in the so called Eastern region, don't even know how many groups that have surrendered them. You will see them come out from bush wearing military for making noise. Why some of them you see they can't even handle operate common DSR 50 sniper rifle. Are we talking about M1921? Some of them can't. Some of them can't even move common armor tank. 
Let's assume this. Say, right time. Let's go after these people. Anything can happen. Those who die survive. Should snatch the ammo tank and everything. Since there's no way we can bring in some. Some of them don't even know how to conduct a common ammo tank. So what the hell are you talking about? Before I deviated, I was talking about obedient. So Kenneth Okonko knows what he was talking about. He claimed that he, Tinibu won the election. Whereas the documents he gave to obedient and so many people were blank, blank papers. So the question is, how did the Tinibu win the election? You claim that he, uh, he, uh, Michelle was hacked. So where did he get the result he used to declare Tinibu as, as, as a winner? You will see some of them will claim that uh, it's not compulsory in the commodity. You see some few people talking about fish, including that showing income of a man. But they spent throwing something billion for that election. That money, if put into investment for the youth, will lead them to so many places. So far, they know what they are doing. But they gave it to a criminal like Kinech Chaman Yakubu, Mamudu Yakubu. And some of you are still here talking. I'm ashamed of showing up. That is how you see a madman putting the separate. I have said it from the beginning. That in this contraction called Nigeria, anything goes. So far as they have money to spend. Criminals, terrorists will rule Nigeria. Ah, they are even promising that if they repent, when terrorists they will rule Nigeria one day. Didn't you hear Bari said it? That's what we are talking about. This is the kind of mindset our people have. I've said it. It doesn't matter who rules Nigeria. What matters is give one blow to Caesar to Caesar and give one blow to God to God. No tribalism. What is good for goose is good for the ganga. That is what I believe in. I don't believe in who rules Nigeria. Are they going to give us the money? What we want is a better Nigeria. But since they have not been able to achieve that strength, Nigeria was created to date. That means they can't. And for this reason why we ask for freedom. And that freedom they must give us one day. Whether they like it or not. They are thinking. Keeping them the calling this has cost for after how many years he has been set free. A year now. The first one has just left. New one enter and he refused to release him. Even after court has said let him go. And the court is making everything difficult. Have you ever seen them when they protest against the government? Because why? Because government are the ones telling them what to do. The only ones that had the audacity to challenge the government were one of those, those that managed to discharge them the canon because they saw that he did not commit any crime. But what happened? They retired some of them, they transferred some of them. That will tell you the kind of country you are. And this is how it could not happen. Buhari used the court, and Tinibu is here to use it. Even a big go to Supreme Court today, he's going to lose. Not because Tinibu won an election. Tinibu did not win an election. Tinibu, in fact, is the top position in this election. But someone like Soinka will come out and clear, tell, you, tell you that he is the first position. What a shame. I don't think I have more to say. Our brothers and sisters who are fighting Biafra struggle with us should grow up and know that everything in life, once the money is there, what doing is what we're doing. No matter how, I don't know. No matter what you do for life, you must make sure that those who want to use you are wet trend. Now when some small some, some, some boys are in the forest, say, where are military you make a noise, we take a 47 and simple machine go. Those who are wet trend. Libya, Kuwait, when they talk, some of you should shut up. I think I've come to the end of this news. Jay.